Hello, I'm John McCormack, and today I want to talk about deleting old instances and orphan storage in Azure. So we've all done it. We've created a proof of concept and we forgot to completely get rid of everything that we uh, created as a part of that process. Or we've maybe even stopped and deallocated the, the virtual machine, thinking that's going to, to stop the ongoing costs. But in fact, there's a little bit more to it than that. So I'm here in the Azure portal and I'm looking at this subscription. I'm fortunate to have a spare subscription that I could allow to run for a while um, without really running any resources on it. Um, I had a, a SQL VM uh, with some storage attached and I stopped the VM uh, just before this billing period. But as you can see, um, the costs have gone up and up roughly by about four pounds per day. Um, and the reason for that is that although the VM was stopped, uh, the storage was left behind. So uh, let's have a look and see what we can do about that. So uh, the resources are in this uh, resource group here, uh, SQL Bits. And as you can see, it was a SQL virtual machine. Um, we've got our um, IP address, security group, network interface, and our uh, storage um, that's all associated with that. So what we need to do is get rid of everything. Okay, once we get rid of everything, then we will stop getting charged. Now, what some people may do is they may just click in here, go to, um, sorry, go to the virtual machine and decide to, to just delete it in there. Okay, because the options there, you can choose delete, um, but you'll see this warning message. Okay, so uh, the action will permanently delete the virtual machine, but associated resources will not be deleted and can be removed manually. So if you say OK to that, then what it's going to do is it's going to delete this uh, virtual machine, which was stopped and deallocated anyway, uh, not costing you any money. And it's going to leave behind that storage um, that still has that four pound daily charge. So the best way to do it is if you are um, going to do things like uh, little pet projects or uh, proof of concepts, try and create all the resources in the one resource group. Um, when it comes to the end of the project, just go into that resource group and click uh, Delete Resource Group. Um, that's going to ask you to put the name in there so that you're uh, deleting the right one. Don't do it by accident. And then if you click Delete, it's going to delete everything that you've created as part of that resource group. And thankfully, you have no uh, ongoing charges. So that's just a little bit um, in this cost optimization series, specifically around deleting unused instances and dealing with orphan storage. Thanks for viewing.